Hey everybody, Muhammad Sheikh here. I get a lot of parents who call me worried about their children not being productive enough. Well, first off, being worried hasn't ever created a context in which solutions are found. My suggestion on that is instead we should show up with consciousness instead of worry. Typically though, the parent gets into a tug and war scenario with their child where the parent is trying to force the kid to do more work and the more the parent tugs in this direction, the more their kid resists and tugs the other way. And in this sort of a game, there is never a real winner because regardless who ends up getting their way, ultimately both lose. The key here is to understand how to properly motivate our children. And also equally as important is to realize what are some of the blocks that even if a child is properly motivated, they still won't take action. One of the biggest reasons that a child doesn't take action is that there is too much perceived pain for doing it wrong. Said a different way, they are afraid to fail. In the child's unconscious, there is a program that is running which keeps reminding them of what happens should they get it wrong. From getting in trouble with their parents, their teachers, to maybe even being embarrassed in front of their peers. The fear of getting it wrong is more intense than the reward or satisfaction of getting it right. Remember, the way the nervous system codes experiences it has to do with the intensity and frequency of emotions from similar experiences in the past. So if a child is made to feel bad more intensely or frequently for getting it wrong, then they are made to feel competent or excited for getting it right, the child will naturally find creative ways to disengage and simply not try. The child isn't lazy, and it's not that the child doesn't care. So let's not use such language because, you know, we start using that often enough, they might just start believing it. Instead, we need to help our kids change their focus away from outcome and consequences and really shift it to starting something and seeing it all the way through, regardless of outcome. One of the best reframes and this, by the way, works just as well for us as parents, is to understand that failing or getting it wrong is part of the process. In fact, we will never grow if we don't fail or get it wrong. And the more we get it wrong, we get feedback on what to do better the next time, which eventually leads to getting it right more and more. Now we have momentum. In my upcoming NLP Skills for Parents workshop, you will learn simple practical techniques to change your child's state, to reframe their perspective, and to empower them to focus more on what's possible than what can go wrong. Plus, everything that you will learn for your children, you can use for yourself. After all, children don't listen to their parents. What they actually do is model their parents' behaviors and how they see you react in various situations. So the more empowered and resourceful we are, the more our children will be. If you have any questions at all, simply reach out, but secure your spot in this workshop because either you can wait for these small issues to become really big issues and now you gotta pay for sessions, or you can pay less and learn simple tools in order to keep small issues exactly that, as small issues. See you in the workshop. Bye.